Today I'm going to bring you guys an update on the DJI Mavic Mini um, errors, issues that we've been getting throughout the past few months. So I have changed uh, my phone. Now I'm using an iPhone. Uh, let's see if the issues have resolved. I'm going to hover here in my backyard and see how um, the Mavic Mini um, responds to um, this new device and this new iOS. Hi guys, Oscar here. I'm going to bring you guys an update with the DJI Mavic Mini and um, the errors that it was uh, is given regarding the propellers and the persistent errors that continues to uh, give me regarding the propellers specifically on the back uh, they alternate between the two motors on the back it says it's um, spinning too fast so as previously stated I went ahead and uh, replaced my phone so I went ahead and got um, an iPhone um, so I'm using the latest uh, app version I'm using iOS 14 I went ahead and calibrated the IMU uh, calibrated the GPS um, and then um, I started the the drone I went ahead and followed the previous recommendation to hover for about five minutes. I went ahead and hovered the the drone for about five minutes. After five minutes, I went ahead and went up to about 250 to about 300 feet in height, right exactly above me. And when I moved the drone to the right or left, the error once again came back uh, so this is pretty frustrating um, there are a lot of people that have seen my previous videos regarding the Mavic uh, Mini and this error or this issue is more common than previously previously thought so about three months ago I had contacted DJI and they gave me all the steps to follow I have followed all the steps and on my previous uh, videos I have included all the steps that they have recommended so they went ahead and told me go ahead and send the the drone in for uh, for repair so I have done so so here's the box that I'm gonna send um, I'm gonna go ahead and send it uh, later today and it is it is an issue that is actually pretty common so the drone is about one year old since its first launch my drone is only six months old six seven months old so i'm gonna go ahead and take advantage of the of the warranty because the warranty is going to expire pretty soon and i want the the drone to be working in proper conditions um uh, the warranty is there I'm going to go ahead and take uh, advantage of it. Uh, they recommended to go ahead and send it in, so uh, I will send it in. Uh, my drone has not uh, suffered any uh, physical damage. Um, I usually fly it uh, for very short periods of time. Um, I usually make sure that the wind is not uh, strong at all. So that's what I, I have done. In conclusion, um, I will go ahead and recommend you guys to go ahead and take advantage of the warranty. If 
your drone is under warranty still and if you are having issues with the drone regarding the ESCs but most importantly if you're having any issues at all go ahead and send it for repair and take advantage of the warranty that uh, you are provided with uh, it comes with one year with a one year um, a warranty so go ahead and take advantage of it um, pretty soon the warranty is going to expire you don't want to have a drone that you paid about 500 bucks and keep it at home just collecting dust because you can't do nothing with it so my recommendation and the recommendation as per DJI support uh, center is to go ahead and send it for repair and since this is under warranty the repair should be um, free I will go ahead and keep you guys informed of the process I'm I'm going to go ahead and send the uh, drone later today and I will keep you guys on what happens okay once again thank you for watching and I will keep you guys updated take care bye